speak to Ms. Shanta Ramkisun, who is participating in the Integrated Water Resources Management Program. Hello, Ms. Shanta Ramkisun. Thank Hi. you so much for taking the time to share with us your program experience. Not a problem at all. Can you tell us about your current work? Um, I've been a water professional for over 11 years. Uh, I work for Rose Environmental in Trinidad and Tobago. And um, what we do is uh, provide equipment solutions for a variety of environmental applications. So that would be everything from air quality to industrial hygiene to water quality. And I am the manager of the water quality department. So what we do would be to um, look at um, various water quality applications across sectors in the industry and that would include industry, oceanography, raw water intakes from surface water, groundwater and wastewater effluents and we provide monitoring solutions and these could be either fixed solutions or portable solutions and then following that we would work with our clients to ensure that they get the, the desired result so that they get value out of the monitoring systems. In a nutshell. Okay. Okay. And why were you interested in coming to uh, the Integrated Water Management Program here, Galilee Institute? Uh, for uh, uh, twofold, actually. The interest that I have is both professional and the personal. So, on a professional note, uh, Integrated Water Resources Management is tied very closely to what we do in our business. So, in, in order to manage, you must monitor. In order to monitor, you need equipment. For equipment, you come to Rose. <laughs> So more than that, it allows uh, me personally to be better informed and if I'm better informed, I can be a better service provider to my clients. Uh, on a personal note, I am interested in sustainable development. I'm also interested in uh, the impacts of climate change and of course water resources management is tied very closely mm -hmm. to both of those topics. So for me, uh, I was interested in learning about how uh, water resources are managed here in Israel and how that has impacted overall resource management and sustainability of the country mm -hmm. on a whole. Mm -hmm. And can you share with us some of the key challenges that you have in Trinidad and Tobago? Oh wow, <laughs> where do I start? <laughs> um, one of the, the key things that has posed a problem is there's no metering system uh, where we pay our bill every three months it's one bill that you pay per zone and um, regardless of how much water you use you pay one rate mm -hmm. uh, so there, there is a culture of wastage okay in addition to that our leakage or um, loss our water loss is about 35% maybe more and our water loss um, mitigation systems actually haven't been successful to date. We, in many areas, do not use sewerage systems. Mm. And sewerage, the sewer lines are mostly in the city areas. Uh, most people, most households actually have a septic tank and soak away system. So that as well contributes to um, mismanagement of raw waste. Okay. Uh, in addition to that, there is a, um, a lot of pollution in our rivers. So, I mean, everything from effluents that come out of industry to uh, dead animals to large appliances end up in our waterways, the same waterways where we take our surface water for drinking water purposes. And that's just to name a few of the issues that we have. We get about 80% of our water supply comes from rain. That happens in the rainy season, which is between uh, the, the June, July and the end of the year. And um, more and more we've been seeing less rain, mm -hmm. so the levels in our reservoirs are lower, uh, so our supply is lower. What um, resulted from that was actually not an improvement in conservation, but actually we went to a rationing system. So like where I live, we get water in the pipes three times for the week. Okay. So you have to have a tank system or something to store your water at your house. And in some areas it's less than that actually. So we've moved now to a, a rationing system of water supply and we live on an island so it's a little bit um, baffling as to how we have not been able to manage our water effectively to supply the, the consumer demands. That was also something that I was very interested in learning uh, about Israel and how we all do it here.
Yes, it's, it's quite different, of course, if you're used to receiving plenty of water and we have never had very much water in Israel. What have been some of the highlights for you in the program here? Uh, I think with respect to my expectations on water loss techniques, definitely I learn a lot. Uh, over here, the, the goal, the aim is to get a single digit water loss percentage and uh, the methods that are employed, I can see it happening in the very near future. And from where it started to where it is now, the, the progress has been clear over the last few years. That definitely was a benefit. I'm, I'm also interested in how effective conservation is and Israel has actually managed to create water in a very arid environment and not only create but also um, integrate a culture of conservation into society so that you're able to make demand but you're also very pro non-wastage mm -hmm. and if you can conserve and if you can reduce your waste then you're definitely in the right place for sustainability. So those things I take away and I definitely did learn a lot about the techniques and methods employed here and how we can adjust and how it applies to the applications that we have in the Caribbean. Uh, it's a lot of information to take in. So, the, you know, the, the pace was fast. It was a lot. And I think that, you know, in the next month or two, I'm, I'm still going to be absorbing everything that was, you know, discussed and everything that was presented here. The level, uh, uh, the quality of the lectures was excellent also. So what they brought was a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. What worked, what didn't work, why, you know, the, the failures, the successes, uh, the challenges, some of which, you know, we identify with in mm -hmm. the Caribbean and some of which we can learn from in terms of how it was addressed. And of course, you'll be keeping in touch with these lectures and questions definitely, that you met here. Definitely, yeah. They come with a lot of experience. What would you say to professionals in your field who would consider taking this course? Uh, listen, if you weren't passionate about water or you weren't passionate about the environment before you got here, by the time you leave, you're definitely going to be passionate. There is um, an excitement that entices innovation out of each professional. Once you're in this program, you get excited. You get challenged to be more innovative. You get challenged to change your perspective and to look at the same problems, but in a different way. To look for solutions in areas where you didn't see them before. Uh, what we learned, um, and I apply this not just to my professional career, but also to me personally and my managerial skills, is that sometimes you see the problem over and over and you think about only one solution. If you step back and you change your perspective, maybe you see that the problem that you identified as the problem wasn't the problem, but actually the, the exercise of identifying what the actual problem is was the reason why you weren't coming up with the right solution mm -hmm. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely beneficial with respect to water and the water sector, but also a lot of the techniques employed apply to other sectors of professional life. I enjoyed the, the cultural tours as well. Uh, one of the things that I look forward to was the cultural experience. Israel has a lot of history and there was a lot to share and I appreciated being able to experience this for myself. And that Those are memories that I would take with me always. That's wonderful. So thank you very much for taking the time to share your experience with us. Thank you to the Galilee Institute and definitely to